Let's start building the pub and church diorama. Roll the intros. Welcome back to Chelmsford Junction, I'm Peter. As the title suggests, we are going to be starting the pub and church diorama. Now, from my last video, I've got lots and lots of uh, leftover pieces from the platform kits from Metcalf, and I'm going to be using them to use as a wall to go around the church, and possibly a wall to go around the car park for the pub. Now, I'm going to take it down to the baseboard that I have taken off of the main boards, brought down to floor level so it's easier for me to work on instead of having to hunch over the baseboards. So without further ado guys, let's take you down to the floor level and show you what, what's going on. So as you can see, we are down with the boards on the floor. And so we've got the church semi in place, the church gate in place, and the pub semi in place. Now what I'm gonna be using for this today is, like I said, I'm going to be using the spare parts from the Metcalf platform kits. You're also going to be need to use a good form of adhesive. Now, I use the Hobbycraft Tacky Glue, which is very, very good stuff. It's a PVA glue, but it's double the strength. Once this starts setting, it's not coming apart. So it's really, really good stuff. Also, what I'm going to be using is take the lid off of this one and remove that one. Is may need some files to just file off a few edges. Obviously, one just dropped out. Plenty of bulldog clips. Obviously, you're going to need the walls themselves and the end parts and obviously the top capping stones. You're going to need a good sharp blade in a sanding knife. Nice long ruler. This one is a 45 centimeter ruler. Uh, it's very, very old. It was my late dad's. And when I was clearing out my late dad's stuff, I found this. And I was like, oh, that could come in handy. A good pencil. A, another ruler with a 90 degree and 45 degree end. So you can make sure your walls are properly lined up and obviously you're going to need your boards so without further ado let's take over this side a bit and in typical blue pizza fashion i have already started making the walls and you've got the one piece there which is the outside you need your two strengtheners and obviously your outside piece now, what I tend to do when I'm building things like the platform, the, the walls for the platforms, etc., I usually tend to do this kind of configuration where everything is glued at different points. So no two sections are glued at the same time. So as you can see, that's the start of this wall. I'll get this one glued up together, guys, and I'll come back to you. So as you can see, I've now put the walls together. So the next part of the build for me for doing this is getting the end capping stones, these bits here, which fold into like a cube cut section there. And these will then attach onto there now what i'm going to do is for this one up here i'm going to put this on both ends put one on this end and one on that end when it comes to this end here i'm going to get it and hopefully my plan will work that it will one bit will go onto there like so the second bit will wrap round the end bit and then the next bit will go on to that wall there. That's the plan anyway. So 
Let me get this bit glued up guys and let's see how we get on. See you in the next clip. So as you can now see, the walls are now in place. I have glued together that corner there. This corner here, if I bring it down a little tiny bit, is glued onto that end. And that one is glued onto the end of that wall. All the capping stones have been put on the top. And now the wall and the church entrance have been glued and are now set in to the boards in readiness for the scenics. Now I've gone slightly ahead and I have put the church in place. Let me zoom you in there guys. And as you can see I've drawn lines down here. Let's zoom back out again for the pathway for obviously the entrance for you know parishioners to go in for you know sunday service or the bride to walk in and walk out with his with her groom or you know it could be for like i said a funeral service like i said this could be a scene where i can take bits off put bits on and have multiple scenes for the area also what i have done is i've put the church in place drawn around it as well in readiness again for scenic materials to go on so once the glue has set on the walls i will bring you back guys and we will start the scenic section so hang on hang on there guys the next clip is coming so as you can see guys i've now completed the church walls and i've also now put in the pub car park walls next stage is what i'm going to do as you can see i've marked out where the path is going to be and also where the church sits so i'm now going to glue this section here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use uh, a scatter which is jarvis js32 number 32 and it is the dark brown scatter material which will probably look like um wood chips kind of thing if you were walking on wood chipping um in your garden or in places like that you can get them in the park, you know so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to start gluing this one get all all the glue on there and what i usually tend to do is you do use the old-fashioned uh glue scrapers which come in handy so grab some glue on the stick and Carefully and slowly work your way up the pathway. You may need to put more glue down, which looks like I might have to here. Just put a little bit more down. Because there's like a slight gap there. So if we can get the glue to go into the gap, then hopefully the scatters will help hide it a little bit. So we'll just quickly go along, carefully along the line. I know not path, all pathways are straight. They are, they do have crooks and little deviations in them, but we'll try and make our scenes look as reasonable as we can. Try and get some glue up into this little area here. Pardon the silence, guys. So I've got glue in virtually all the, all the places. So I'm just going to wipe it off on the brush. Like that. And then just give it a good going over. Make sure it's getting in all the nooks and crannies where I want it. And then putting all the glue where I want it. That looks all right to me. So then we'll come along with the scatter and slowly sprinkle on. Obviously, once this is all dried off, you can get the hoover with uh, one of your wife's um, tights or stockings over the end of it. And don't obviously let go of the tight, or obviously that will go sucked up the hoover. But holding on to the tight, you can 
grab hold of the scatter material rather good, rather nicely, and you can save it for the next time you do any scattering. So we're almost finished scattering here now. Just make sure I've got it in all the places I want to put it in. So I'll give it a bit of an overlap. That looks about right to me. And then what I do is with my long ruler, just carefully try and pat it down a bit. If you don't want to use that, you can use things like the Oxford Rail boxes from that you get your cars in. You can just stamp it down and then let the glue set. Okay, guys, we'll come back once the glue is set. So as you can see, the scatter has had overnight to dry. And like I said, now I'm going to be using the hoover and one of my wife's tights. Pop it over the end like that. It's just uh, getting over a little bit nearer to us. That's a bit better. And as you can see, this bit at the end, just set it on and suck away. Now, while the hoop is still on, hold on to the tight. Turn it off. And once it's stopped, just slowly but surely pull the tight out. And there you go. As you can see, the scatter is now very nicely falling out. Just give it a bit of a quick shake off. And then that's that part done. So we just get rid of the pipe for the hoover out of the way. So we are now going to look at where we're going to put the trees. So without further ado, let's quickly get them out. Let's just uh, touch their bottom bits. Oops. Two bits. Take your bottom off. Sorry to babble on here, guys. I'll be as quick as I can. And let's bring them out. Now, these are the Woodland Scenics Woodland Classics range. And if you want to know what the item code is for this one, it is T R. Three five nine three. Get you nice and close there. Uh, these are made for N gauge, HO gauge, double O gauge, and you can also use them on O gauge. So they're pretty versatile items. So it's just quickly. So the base is just there. They quickly, very easily snap on. So we could pop one, say like there. One there. Now, looking at this, I reckon I could probably do with getting another pack. Because I reckon three along that line would look quite nice. And another one there. So, if I zoom you in a bit, guys. Maybe a bit more. Nah, that's better. What do you reckon, guys? Do you reckon it would be look nice to get another pack? Put another two there. Um, and that'll leave me two, so I can put one there and then one here. What do you reckon, guys? I'll just bring it down. So you could put another one, another two there. You'd have a spare one for there. And you could also have a spare one for here as well. So that's the trees. So that gives me an idea of where my trees are going to be going. So I now know that I can 
put the next stage of the scenic down, which will be the uh, soil. So I could put the soil around in this area, I could soil all this area up, and this area up, and then that way I know that I can have, say like, this area here and this area here, just soil, because um, obviously if there's trees there, it's not going to get much um, sunlight to grow anything there, so I might have a couple of little bushes here or there, um, but the grass area could be around there and all around here, because don't forget this area here is going to be for the gravestones. So if I bring the church in to where it's supposed to be, which is spot there, so now it's on its proper marks, you can clearly see that it's going to give some nice shadowing effect with the trees. So if I bring this one down this way, you can see a bit clearer. You've know, got plenty of shade going over this way, or this. Or if I move it, it'll be going probably over this side. So I'm going to pause the camera there, guys, and I'm going to go get the soil down, and we'll get this glued and soiled up. So now you can see, guys, I've completely PVA glued all this area and this area and it's all been now seen it um i've got that little tiny bit up there that i need to do but i've run out of scatter as you can see there's only a little tiny bit left in that one and if you want to know what code it is it's the wooden scenic range and it's fine turf soil t41 that's the turf the soil that i'm using there's absolutely shed loads on there so i'm not worried there'll be absolutely plenty that will once all the glue's dried and the layers that stuck to the glue has dried off once i put the hoover all over this this will probably be half full again by the time i've got all this sucked up again so we'll give it a couple of hours and uh give it a suck with the old hoover and we'll try and get that little bit back there finished and then that will be this whole area at long last got some scenic material on it so see you in the next clip so as you can see guys, I have progressed with the diorama uh, whilst off camera. Uh, all the brown soil had glued. I had to go over it uh, a second time because there was a few patches that weren't uh, to my to my standard, to my satisfaction, I would, I would put. Uh, I've then gone over the diorama with Woodland Scenics T45 Fine Turf Green Grass and also as you can see if i just quickly zoom you in a bit there you go guys there's also the coarse turf there which is again the woodland scenics coarse turf light green and it's number t63 now my next stage of the diorama as you can see i've just installed um if i spin you in a bit closer two of the uh, base plates for the trees and I have purchased a, another set of four so that takes me up to eight trees there's the, other, the old the original four so what I'm going to do now is with the aid of Hobbycraft's tacky glue now this is like it says it's a 300ml bottle dries clear and it's a permanent and this is like a PVA glue, but it's, as it says on the, on the tin or on the bottle, it's more tackier. Um, I use this for doing all my model kits, like the Metcalf Church there. And obviously it's not as quick drying as, say, like the Deluxe Models uh, glues. But I prefer to use this. It gives you a little bit more time to manoeuvre the pieces that you need around. And then when it does dry start to go off it does dry off quite hard and it is quite hard sometimes you need like a, a blade of some sort or a screwdriver or something like that to actually say like prize these off because as you can see these two have stuck and they've stuck quite nicely now obviously i'm now going to be sticking the remaining uh six obviously to the turf so it's going to be a little bit harder. So what, all I do is literally put the tacky glue into a smaller bottle, which is more easier to use. Quickly 
once it comes down to the bottom, I need to refill this one. Nice spread of glue on the bottom like that. Spin her over. Find where I want it to go. I want it in just there. Pop it down. It feels like it could do with a bit more glue there, so we'll actually stick some glue on the actual top of the coarse turf. Give it a nice nice dollop there so it can adhere to. Like I said, it does dry clear, and eventually later on, once it does dry, I can go round and put um, some bushes around there. Or a bit of coarse turf. I mean, I, I can actually do that right now, actually. You know, T63 uh, coarse turf. Let's quickly open it up. And, you know, just plonk a few bits on. And then, obviously, once it dries, I can then suck that up with the, with the hoover. So you've got a bit of coarse turf around there. So leave that now to now to dry, and then once obviously they're nicely and nice and glued, all you do then is grab your tree, plonk it in, and it's almost ready. What I am going to do is I am going to go over the pathway with my Jarvis JS32 uh, dark brown scatter, because as you can see where I've used. Um, a 50-50 mix of PVA glue and water and a washing up liquid to help the court the turf set is obviously right onto this part here. So I'll go over this area again with the brown turf. So I'll come back to you guys once the actual diorama is completely finished. So as you can see now all the bases for the trees are now in and setting off and Around these ones here, I've put the coarse turf. This one here, and as you can see, I've used a mix of the Woodland Scenics Light Green SC145 bushes, and also the Olive Green uh, color, which is there. What I do is I tend to put them into a shaker, Mix them up, and as you can see, you can clearly see the, the two colours that are in there, and I've just put on there, mixed. So, I've already done this one. That one I will do in a little while. What I'm going to concentrate on now is, I've already started it, I'm going along the wall line, and putting bushes in along here. So again, using the Hobbycraft Tacky Glue, in a smaller dispenser, which I've now filled up. I will bring you around this way a bit, like that. And not right in the corner, but I'll put a nice amount of glue along the wall line. And once I've got so far, give the shaker a bit of a shake up, undo it, and what I do is whoop, just decant the loads into the pot, pop it over there, and then start putting them into place and dabbing them down so obviously it holds on the glue. Just keep going along. Now later on, if all of them haven't stuck together properly, you can use um, things like ladies hairspray um, to knit them together, or you can use the Woodland Scenics um, Scenic Cement. I haven't got any of the Woodland Scenic Cement, um, but hopefully the missus doesn't mind. I might be nicking a bit of her, her hairspray. So as you can see, I've just done all up to there. So I'm going to put a load more on to the bottom. I'm only going to go so far up, just to show you.
again, just give it a bit of a shake up so you get, you know, an even distribution of colour. Pick those two little bits up and pop them back in the pot. And again, just pick them up, drop them in place. And sometimes rolling them around in the glue helps, helps them to stick to each other. It's a bit of a big clump there, so we'll try and spread that out a bit, just like that. And this is how I'm doing the hedge line, or bush line, whichever you want to call it, along the graveyard. I think you can say that it's slowly, slowly coming along. Let's grab that little bit there. Just get to the end of the glue line there. A bit more. Grab it. That's it. Nice big clump there. Pop it in. Spin it around a bit. And there you go. So there you go. There's now bushes going into this. Now, this is not the finished article. Obviously, I've got to find, obviously, gravestones, uh, grave tombs, things like that. Um finish off, uh, wait for this to dry, suck the remainder of the coarse turf up, relay this little bit here, pop the trees on, and then hopefully it should be finished. So I will see you in the next clip, guys. And welcome back to this segment of the video. This is the last segment. It is now, as I see fit at the moment, until I get obviously the gravestones grave tombs, um, figures for either a wedding party or a funeral party or something like that. I look at like this as this is done. All the hedgerow has now been done right up to the top of there. I'm leaving this side free. Um, I'm not too sure what to do with that yet, but you never know, something may happen over there. Um, one thing that's happened accidentally that's actually come into my favour is a little bit of glue got alongside this part of the lintel of the wall and obviously the scatter materials as i've put the coarse turf the coarse turf and the fine turf down has actually landed on top of the stones on the top of the wall which i think actually gives it quite a nice little effect of weathering so that's quite happily come out nicely the coarse turf is looking nice. The whole area now is completely covered. You can see that there's lighter and dark patches. There's a patch there where the Wood of the Scenic fine turf hasn't glued, but that's what you want. You want a bit of difference in in your in your land land work. Obviously, you don't want it completely universal and all nice and green. That's not how the real world works. So you can clearly see there's patches here, 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 up here. You can see that clearly there's a nice big brown patch there. Again, up this side, you can see patches where the scattered material hasn't glued. Um, as I said in the last section, I was going to relay the pathway, which is exactly what I've done. Just put um, a neat... Um, solution of the hobbycraft extra tacky glue down um, from the gate there right up to the church door there that's all now been done the trees are all now firmly in place the bases have glued nicely and as you can see the bushes are around that side you've got coarse turf around these ones so it is i call a finished article What's next to do is, obviously, I've just purchased from Tony's Trains the Metcalf 00 gauge HON scale M0056 tarmac builder sheets. So that will help, obviously, do the car park, the entrance to the car park there. Obviously, around here, all around here, if there is enough, and obviously, the road will be heading this way and hopefully later on down a 
down a ramp because obviously this area is where the trains go under. I've left this little section free because I'm not too sure what I'm going to do, uh, whether I'm going to put a wall or girders up here. I might just put like another wall. I'm looking at the um, Wills kits. They do a nice plastic uh, kit that uh, you can use. So I might use that, but I'm not too sure I'm going to do this section yet. As you can see, the beer garden, uh, I've just painted the base for the beer garden. I used the uh, Wilkerson's Nutmeg Spice Tester Pots. Um, very, very nice colour. Goes to a nice brownie, chocolatey colour. So it's good for once you put your scatter down, you know, you're not going to get any baseboards um, coming through. So that's had about two or three coats. I've also drawn around the edge of the pub there and i have also put a i would say like a cork bark effect around there so obviously your yeah, customers are gonna walk down this end this side into the beer garden and that side is going to be for the draymen that are coming to deliver all that the beer kegs the bottles of beer the the tonics and everything like that so that will be for the drayman sides and obviously like food deliveries um so yeah it's really really come along so i've now decided to end this little instruction video with the finished article and what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause the camera and bring you down to like obviously wall level so you can see through the tree line hold on a second guys so you're now down at baseboard level guys and you can clearly see you've got a lovely pathway there leading up to the church door under the cherry blossom trees and you've got the wall there that's been I think it's about one of my best goes at doing some card kits and then we'll take you around through the door I'll just zooming out a little bit guys so then you can see straight through the lovely gate entrance to the graveyards so as you can see that's a lovely view there and then you can clearly see as I bring you up about an inch or so off the deck you can clearly see as I bring you in cherry blossoms as cherry blossoms do they do shed all their flowers so there's a bit of flowers already on the grass of the graveyards. And I'll bring you over this way. And you can see the lovely hedge line that I have done. Again, this is about one of my best I've ever done scenic wise. I'm quite proud of this. Um, I haven't done anything around the church walls yet. I'm not too sure what to do. So if you've got any ideas or clue or any suggestions what I could do around the walls guys please leave a comment down below but and there's my lovely helper my Henry that helps me get all my scatter back but that is I think a very nice view of the way up to the church for the bride that's going in to get married so I'll just leave you with that view guys and we'll come to the conclusion in a second. So there you have it guys. My video of how I have done my little diorama that is still to be finished. Obviously I've got the car park to do, the main roads to do and the pub beer garden to do and all around by the pub. Um, again it's you know it's got to stage where it's getting the little little bits that make the Dioramas pop out obviously like gravestones public benches people cars You know having to get in the car park laid and then getting all the lines for the parking spaces all marked out So it's just little bits now that I've got to do to finish off the diorama But you've seen the main bulk of the diorama been done. I hope you've enjoyed the video guys I've had a lot of fun doing the diorama and making this video for you guys um if you've got any comments of, again, like I said, what I could do with along, along the church walls, um, scenic-wise, please, sorry, I got an itchy nose, um, let me know in the comments down below. 
Uh, if you've got any ideas of what I could do with the beer garden, would you say to put a, like a little playground in there for the kids? Uh, would you reckon a barbecue would be, look good in there? Because you know some of these uh, pubs do like a barbecue outside. So if you've got any comments guys of little extras that I could put into the diorama scene, then please put a comment down below. If you have enjoyed the video that I've done, please hit the like button and thank you very much for liking it. If you're a subscriber, a big thumbs up and a big thank you to the subscribers that have come onto the channel recently. Hope you are enjoying the content so far and I hope you stay with us and enjoy future content that I put onto the channel. If you're not a subscriber, why not join the channel? The railway is slowly going from bare baseboards to a scenic model railway. As you can see over my left shoulder there, there's a scene coming on there that will be coming up hopefully in the uh, part 13 updates uh, in the next week. Uh, there hopefully will be a running session coming very soon to the channel. So if you're not a subscriber, you've got a lot of videos that are coming up for you to have a look at and to choose if you want to become a subscriber. If you do, please hit the subscribe button down on the right hand side. If you want to carry on watching videos from my channel, there should be a link up here and up here. Um, with obviously everything that's going on in the country, guys, we have now been told as of from Thursday the 5th of November 2020, we were going back into a month-long uh, lockdown. I just want to say, look after yourselves out there, guys. Look after each other. Look after our NHS. Be sensible. And above all, happy modelling. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye from now.